Divine Office Evening Prayer God, come to my assistance. Lord, Lord, make make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Let heaven now resound with praise, and earth re-echo with its joy, to celebrate with melody the triumph of the chosen twelve. Judges of the world, its truest light and trusted guides, incline your ears to our poor prayer, arising from our grateful hearts. To you entrusted was the power of binding and of loosing sin. With but a word we humbly pray from bonds of trespass set us free. All maladies and evil harm at your command were soon dispelled. Restore our health of soul anew, enrich us with all virtue's grace. So that when Christ our judge shall come and time and space shall be no more, he may bestow on us a share of heaven's bliss that has no Glory to the Father be, all glory to his only Son, and to the Holy Spirit blessed, both now and in eternity. I have prayed for you, Peter, that your faith may not fail, and when you have turned to me, you must strengthen the faith of your brothers. I I have prayed for you, Peter, that your your faith faith may may not fail, and when when you have turned to me, you you must strengthen the faith of your brothers. I trusted, even when I said, I am sorely afflicted. And when I said in my alarm, no man can be trusted. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. O precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. Your servant, Lord. Your servant am I. 
You have loosened my bonds. A thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. In the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As As it it was was in the beginning, beginning, is now, now, and and will will be forever. forever. Amen. I have have prayed for you, Peter, Peter, that your your faith faith may not fail. And when when you you have turned to me, you you must strengthen strengthen the faith of your brothers. Willingly, I boast of my weaknesses, that the power of Christ may live in me. Willingly, I boast of my weaknesses, that the power of Christ may live in me. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. On our lips there were songs. The heathens themselves said, What marvels the Lord worked for them! What marvels the Lord worked for us! Indeed, we are glad. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage, as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. They go out, they go out full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back full of song, carrying their sheaves. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As As it was was in the beginning, beginning, is now, now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Willingly I boast of my weaknesses, that the power of Christ may live in me. You are shepherd of the flock, the prince of the apostles. To you were entrusted the keys of the kingdom of heaven. You are shepherd of the flock, the prince of the apostles. To you were entrusted the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in him before the world began to be holy and blameless in his sight. He predestined us to be his adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was his will and pleasure that all might praise the glorious favour he has bestowed on us in his beloved. In him and through his blood we have been redeemed and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favour to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan he was pleased to decree in Christ. A plan to be carried out in Christ in the fullness of time, to bring all things into one in him, in the heavens and on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as As it was was in the the beginning, beginning, is now, now, and and will will be be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. You are are shepherd of the flock, the the prince of the apostles. To you were entrusted the keys of the kingdom of heaven. A reading from St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. I handed on to you, first of all, what I myself received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the Scriptures, that he was buried and, in accordance with the Scriptures, rose on the third day, that he was seen by Cephas, then by the Twelve. Last of all, he was seen by me. The apostles proclaimed the word of God and preached it faithfully. The apostles proclaimed the word of God and preached it faithfully. They testified to the resurrection of Jesus Christ and preached it faithfully. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The apostles proclaimed the word of God 
and and preached it faithfully. Peter the Apostle and Paul the Teacher of the Gentiles taught us your law, O Lord. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers to Abraham and and his his children forever. Glory to the Father and and to the Son and and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and and will will be forever. Amen. Peter the Apostle and Paul the Teacher of the Gentiles taught us your law, O Lord. The Lord Jesus built his holy people on the foundation of the apostles and prophets. In faith, let us pray. Lord, come to the aid of your people. You once called Simon, the fisherman, to catch men. Now summon new workers who will bring the message of salvation to all peoples. Lord, come to the aid of your people. You calmed the waves so that your followers would not be drowned. Guard your church, protect it from all dangers. Lord, come come to to the the aid of your your people. You gathered your scattered flock around Peter after the resurrection. Good shepherd, bring all your people together as one flock. Lord, come come to to the the aid of your people. You sent Paul as apostle to preach the good news to the Gentiles. Let the word of salvation be proclaimed to all mankind. Lord, Lord, come come to to the the aid of your people. You gave the keys of your kingdom into the hands of your holy church. Open the gates of that kingdom to all who trusted in your mercy while on earth. Lord, come Come to to the the aid of of your people. Now let us pray as Christ the Lord has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as as we forgive those who trespass against us. And And lead us not into into temptation, but but deliver deliver us from from evil. evil. Grant, we pray, O Lord our God, that we may be sustained by the intercession of the blessed apostles Peter and Paul, that as through them you gave your church the foundations of her heavenly office, so through them you may help her to eternal salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.